Hey everybody. Happy Wednesday afternoon. Just not doing that much. Um, trying to clean out, I don't know where I got the audacity to do it, but I was trying to clean out the bottom of my kitchen sink. Like I'm trying to see like if um, bottles of stuff and things that I don't need and it's okay. I've been organizing some of my sponges and because I have enough of those. Um, what I buy is the Dollar Tree sponges and they're the Scrub Buddies sponges. They're, they come two in a pack, $1.25, it's nice. And these are what they look like. But what I usually do with them, I don't know if I have it here. Yeah, I, I cut these in half because this to me seems like real big and bulky as when I'm going to clean like pots and pans and stuff. It's just, it's just an annoyance, even though you squeeze it out when it's wet. What I like to do is I like to cut these in half. And this is the size I get out of it. And it's easier for me to work with it in my hands and, you know, soap it up and scrub pots and pans and, you know, get into the pots and pans like this. You know, I, I scrub the inside and everything. So it's easier just for me to work for, to work with it in the middle of my hand. That's what I do. So I'm just taking these out of the package because I want to just set them up inside of a little container. That's really it. Um, the day was good. The rest of the week was good. And, you know, we're just getting through the days the way they are. I would like to go out tomorrow. Today was like a real crappy day. But tomorrow, it's going to be raining. So maybe I'll get to use my Primark umbrella. <laughs> that, I thought, that was like the first thing I thought of. Okay. And um, what I did was I went out on the terrace with the umbrella. And I opened it. Um... First impressions, you know, because it's small, it's cute. Will it last? I don't know. So I'm going to give a real full review of it um, when I do use it outside. Hopefully I will use it tomorrow because it is supposed to be another crappy rainy day. It has been in the high 50s here. It's almost actually been 60. Yesterday was 61. I was like, what? <laughs> I don't know if we're ready for this yet. But my heat is off and, and everything's good and I feel good. Um... The thing is, is that I will use the umbrella if I can tomorrow. I'll bring it with me, definitely. And so I'll, I'll do an after, after review on it. Um, what else? I just, I'm just going to go out tomorrow. The week was okay. For Monday night's date night, my husband came home. He was very tired. Just, you know, we just took showers and just ate and went to bed. We, um, what it is, is that I made a nice steak dinner here. So I used my shell steaks. I buy shell steaks at the butcher, have him, have them cut them. I like the shell steaks at, on the thin side. You know, I mean, it's not the filet mignon at Outback, but you know what? We decided to step back a little bit from that just because you know why? Because if we keep doing it, even though it's so delicious, but it gets to be, uh, we don't want to tire out from it. We don't want it to be like a usual routine. And besides, like I said, it is on the expensive side. It's like over $100 for two of us. And that's fine. It's it's like a nice treat. So we had my steak dinner here on Monday. Took showers, relaxed, went to bed. Um, Tuesday, what I usually do is I do my usual, um, I was going to say macaroni, usual ravioli dinner with my gravy. And, you know, and that's what I did. Did my dishes, watched TV, had made tea, and then went to bed on that. So... It was a nice relaxing two days and right now he's, you know, relaxing as well. And I'm just decided to clean this out. I don't have too much to do. I'm just assessing it. What I do is like, you know, my husband brings home like a little plastic bag, but I have a load of plastic bags. Now let me show you what I do with them also while I'm talking on the subject. Um, this is a cereal, uh, cereal storage and food storage container. I bought this many years ago. Uh, What's the price? I, I paid $2.99 for the price. It's still on there from uh, Cereal Server. That's what it is. And what I do is, if you see here, I have all plastic bags in it. So it's easier. You just pop this open. You take out a plastic bag. And what I do with plastic bags, I still have a load more. So I'm just getting a bag and putting them in because I seem to have been, I seem to have been very overloaded with plastic bags. But... The reason how I get these so small to fit in here is that I'm going to open one and I'm going to show you how I refold it. They're just on, these bags are like on the small side. My husband gets them in the mornings for like when he goes to work for breakfast and stuff and he gives them a bag. So I take the bag and I just roll it. Let me see if I can do this. And I roll the bag 
to make it this way. Then I take this. Sometimes I can get fancy and then fold it in half and then twisty tie, but right now I can't do that with this one. So this one is just going to be a twisty tie on this. And then I just do this. And that's how small it'll go. And then I could just put it into, into here and then shut it. And then that's it. I have a load of it. You can fit a load. As you can see, there are a load. But I don't have another one of these, so I'll just have to put them in here. And I have a load of little plastic bags, and that's fine. That's cool. So I'm still opening up my packages of Scrub Buddies. I'm putting them in the containers. Just trying to neaten things up a little bit. I, I found that I had a new bottle of the Totally Awesome Concentrated Cleaner and degreaser spot remover. This stuff is amazing. My word of advice to you is try not to put it on, um, try not to use it straight and put it on something like a, like on a counter or something. You don't want any discoloration. You don't want any mess ups. I would mix this with water first. And I believe the directions are right here on the back. So it would, it would tell you. I mean, these things used to be a dollar. Now they're a dollar 25, but still good. This is the uh, refillable bottle because I have the sprout to spray, you know, the pump sprayer. So I just, I just switch it. When that bottle is empty, I'll just take the sprayer out of there and put it in here. And we're good to go. But it, it, it really, it's totally awesome. It earns its name. That's for sure. Um... There is stuff called uh, stuff called CLR, and it's a lime calcium. Um, you clear away calcium buildup and everything, most likely with sinks and showers, and um, uh, you can clean chrome with it. You could clean everything. Well, totally awesome. Again, has this bottle. Let me see if I can open this because I think there's air in it. Okay, let's see. Okay, there we go. And it is called from Totally Awesome Dollar Tree, Rust and Lime Calcium. Okay, this is what this is. And this is also wonderful. This is just the same as the good bottle of CLR, which does the same thing. Right here, $1.25. Totally awesome product. That's what the name of it is from Dollar Tree. Totally awesome. But it is all-purpose cleaner. Nutriment, rust, lime, calcium. It cleans all that. So I actually, these two products have been with me. I've been using them for a few years now from Dollar Tree. They really are good. So I, I'm glad to know that I have a bottle of that and a bottle of that. Then I also found my other bottle of, again, from the totally awesome line of Dollar Tree, the window cleaner, vinegar formula. This is actually so good. It really is. It's a big, well, it's a big bottle. It's a, it was a 40 fluid ounce. This I got a while back ago. So I've actually had that. I do have an original bottle here of Windex. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to use this one out before I use the rest of this. This stuff, I want to say, is it's just a little bit better than Windex. It really is. Again, totally awesome product. All Dollar Tree products. So I'm glad I still have those. So that's really all that I'm going to keep, I think. And I do, yeah, see, this is the other bottle of the Totally Awesome. This is the pump. So I just remove this pump, take it out when this is done, and I'll refill that. Yeah, I'll just put the pump in that bottle. Ah! Um, one of the things that I will do is that I stopped buying... Dollar Tree dish liquid. Now, I used to swear by their dish liquid only because it was like a triple size bottle. It was a big size bottle. And for back then, for like a dollar, I was buying five and six bottles at a time. So it was really good. So I decided to cut back on that because they're making the bottles more smaller and they're a dollar 25. And I don't feel that I am getting my bang for a buck. Let's put it that way. So I went back to a regular size and I purchased, I've been purchasing Dawn and this bottle I've been purchasing. I think I want to say this bottle is like $9.99. Sometimes it's actually $7.99 on sale at Stop and Shop here where I live. So this is a big, this is a, it's a 75 fluid ounce. That's what it says. 75 fluid ounce. Right there. 
and it's a big bottle but let me tell you something i use so less of this and this lasts me for at least at least a month literally because what i do is i don't use the whole bottle i don't keep i don't keep my bottles on the kitchen sink as you know because when i went to redo my kitchen what i do with it is i purchased a three pack of these little bottles on amazon i think these were like 9.99 these are pump bottles and i will fill this with this because i it doesn't take me to use much soap i pre-soak my dishes anyway i use a few squirts of this in a, in the container with very hot water during dinner and i'll let my dishes soak I, I rinse them off first before i put them in the hot water i'm a stickler for these things i just i just am and I just do a few, you know, I'll fill this up and I just use a few spritz of this and I am good. And this lasts me a long, long time. And it, you know, it cuts grease. Sometimes I'll actually use this, believe it or not, in my laundry. My husband will get a stain. Um, he has had an issue um, last year. He had gotten computer printer ink on his jeans. I used a little, what is it, WD-40 or DW-4, DW, WD, whatever it is, 40, the greaser, the degreaser. And I used some of this with a toothbrush. Very easy because I don't want to, you know, jeans are jeans and you don't want to like white spot the material because you will take the color out of the jeans depending on what they were. His jeans were gray. And I was like, oh God, I'm going to ruin these. It really, I just kept at it a little bit, a little at a time, but I let it soak. And let me tell you something, those jeans are still good today. You can't even tell. Maybe just a little hint of the color, but it just, it blends right into the gray. So you really, only I know because I know what I did with the jeans. So I was good. But anyway, that's what I keep on my sink. This is, I don't want everything all overpowering. This really does the job of dishes and, you know. Cuts grease, like like just like the commercial, Dawn Cuts Grease. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Um, what else? That's really it for this, I guess. Oh, I purchased this. Now, this was $3.99. This is Lysol Kitchen Pro Antibacterial Cleaner. I paid, actually paid $3.99. The price is still on there. But I go to a store called Deals and Discounts, which is D&D. &D. That's what it's called, D&D, &D, but it's called Deals and Discounts. That's what it stands for. And I just purchased this, and I tried it. And it's, um, uh, it's I want to say it's like orange cleaner. No harsh chemical residue. Yeah, and what I do with this is like at the end of the night, when I put my dishes away and I, I'm wiping down my counters, I will give a few squirts of this to my stove, which my stove is clean because I cleaned it after dinner last night. And I'll just spray a few spritz of this and I'll just freshen everything up. It has a little nice smell to it. And I'll just do the tops on my counters and then I'm good for the evening. And that's really it. I just clean my, I call it my station. I clean my station. <laughs> um, yeah, I do want to add from Dollar Tree also. I think it's called Chase's. Chase's Norm, Norm Value. That's what it is cream furniture polish orange scent i do want to say to you i love this stuff you have to shake it well i think i only have one can of this i didn't find another can uh oh gotta get another can so it cleans and protects and shines and i do want to do like my wood furniture maybe over the weekend i'll do that this is wonderful stuff this really works and the smell on it is is so so pretty very nice it gives it a nice clean smell after you're doing it and now I want to say that's it. And that's my day. Nothing much else happened. Um, I will leave things about Disney. It is horrific because the past two to three days, we know it's spring break. I, it's it's I, Disney just sees you coming. It is very annoying. Disney just sees you coming because what it is is that they were charging for Lightning Lane on certain events, certain um, attractions up to $35. They went as high as 29 on certain ones. Are you kidding me right now? One of the things were, I believe for Princess, I want to say for Princess Hall, because they put the, see, sometimes when they write the article, they'll put the picture, but then they get you to entice you to look at the picture, but then they want you to see the article. But I always trust WDWNT, Walt Disney World News Today. Rides and attractions were going up to $35 with Lightning Lane. 
that is her where does it end people i mean you know what you people i want to say you people are the fools because you people are the ones that are actually joining in and and being okay with this it is insane people it's insane that's totally up to you but it's sad it's sad 35 dollars a person what do you do for the child that's another thing um another article i don't really you know there's another um website it's called inside the magic they kind of annoy me i'm going to be very honest i would trust wdwnt way over inside the magic any day because inside the magic gives you these cockamamie stories it's like a tabloid newspaper that's what they remind me of it's like a I don't know. I do read the stories so I could kind of get a little idea of what's going on. But there was one story this morning that I did read and, and I have to agree on it. It's like for the Disney adults that are going to Disney, uh, there seemed to have been sparked something because there were two girls dressed as, you know, princess characters and everybody was haunting on them and everybody was like stopping them. They wanted to take pictures with them. They wanted to stop them. Oh, do you work here? No, they don't work here. You could tell they didn't work there. But at the fact is, they seem to have, um, I, they probably didn't mean to do it, but they seem to have brought attention to themselves. And, you know, there was an article written about them. You don't want to bring attention to yourself, then don't do it. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But I think 99%, I think you, you had every intention on doing it because, you know, you just got your 15 minutes of fame. Um, and that's kind of, that's weird. Where does it end, people? Where does it end? where does it end you know but that's the way it goes okay um lounge fly bags lounge fly situation with the new 100th anniversary of the uh 100th anniversary of disney lounge fly bag it's a silver bag has the characters on it kind of like the 50th i went online at three o'clock in the morning because that's when the bag went on sale the other night and let me tell you something as of now like three days later that bag is still up there didn't sell out the ears are still up there to match. Didn't sell out. I don't know if people are just getting tired of it or just going like, eh, it's another bag. What are you going to do? That's the impression that I'm getting. But it's a $78 bag. Um, Disney offers free shipping over orders over $75 when you write the, you know, you put in the code ship magic. And, you know, you'll get the bag free shipping. But my husband was like, are you going to get the bag? I said, no, no, I didn't. No, no, I did not get the bag. So the bag is still online as far as now, like three days later, it went on sale three days ago. Weird, very weird. Whew. Okay, people, that's really going to be it. So I'm going to, I'm going to end this here. I'm going to just do something fast, put everything away, organize, and then I'd like to have something to eat. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. God bless you all. Have a wonderful night. Stay warm. I have my heat off, so I don't need my heat anymore. I was like, okay, I'm, I think I'm pretty much done with this. Tomorrow here in New York, it is supposed to go up to 81 degrees. Are you kidding me right now? What am I going to do with 81 degrees? That's, I don't think I'm ready for this yet. But it's also supposed to rain, so... I don't think the 81 is really going to feel like 81 when there's no sun out. I just, I have no idea. I, it's like crazy, you know, uh, April showers bring May flowers. That's what they say. All right. Love to all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Have a great evening, everybody. Let me know your views down in the comments of what you're thinking about the, the Disney situation and about products if you buy products like this from Dollar Tree. Let me know. I love all the stuff I buy. I wouldn't buy it if I didn't. Have a good night. Bye-bye.